Hi there. So this is my trip to Toronto that I took over the summer. And yeah, I got to eat some amazing vegan food. I rented this really sweet Airbnb with this, as you can see, uh, beautiful rooftop little hangout spot. And uh, yeah, so look, there's Toronto. Oh, and I'm just drinking some coffee and eating some hair. And then uh, I went to Queen Street and hung out because my first destination, of course, was gonna be Doomies. Doomies, it's this all vegan, like, cafe type food with like burgers and fries and macaroni and cheese and coconut cream pie dessert. It was amazing. And I'd been wanting to go there for a really long time. And yeah, it was just a really cool vibe. It was nice to be around a bunch of people that were eating vegan too. See, look at this menu. Burgers, chicken burgers, sandwiches. Fried chicken and waffles, like what? But you know, of course, I had to try out the uh, mozzarella sticks. They were really, really good. And the, oh, this isn't on the menu, but you can ask for this special. This is the vegan Big Mac. Get out of here, vegan Big Mac, what? That's crazy, yeah, it was amazing. It was as amazing as it looks. And yeah, delicious, and I love this this uh, place so then downstairs they have this really cool wall of like I call it the wall of meat eater hypocrisy <laughs> and uh, it's just just funny little comics that kind of like sum up how hypocritical it can be to eat meat and say you love animals and you know justify it with oh lions do it you know all that stuff that drives us crazy but we love you still um, yeah, this one was pretty funny. And then later on, I was just, I didn't really have any plans. I just kind of, yeah, I went to a wrestling show. I don't know. It was super random. I'm usually not into this stuff, but <laughs> I saw a sign for it and I like to be spontaneous when I travel. I was like, well, I've never been to a wrestling show, so screw it. Let's try it out. And this was like the finale scene. The very, oh, that dude had to have gotten hurt from that. I kind of felt bad for him. And then after I was like walking home and was like, oh my God, look, just randomly, there's like a veggie dog cart on the corner of the street. So I had to get that, had to. I mean, I already j ate junky all day. Might as well eat junky at night. And then at night, um, I went back to the rooftop and got my Kindle out and sat on a really nice couch there on the roof and just appreciated the view. I love big cities and I love Toronto. It's so diverse and just, it's, I'm, it's an amazing city. And then the next day, da -da -da, went to the vegan food and drink festival. This is the reason why I went to Toronto in the first place. And it's only like four hours away from where I live. So I was like, eh, it's, it was the closest one to me. And there were so many people there, it was crazy. And um, it was just so inspiring to see so many people that were like either vegan or interested in veganism, open to it, you know, it's just like, yes, it's growing. And of course I had to stalk some doggies. Oh, he's so cute. And then this guy, what a cute little face. And I didn't just stalk people. I also stalked on my YouTube, uh, crushes. This is Lauren Toyota from Hot for Food. She has an awesome YouTube channel. It teaches you how to cook vegan comfort food. Like, you know, it's not like gross salads and berries and twigs. It's like, it's, it's just good shit. Like mac and cheese and nacho cheese dip and burgers and things like that. But yeah, look at all those people that were there for her. Like a bunch of other people were stalking her. And then I went under this tree and ate these amazing dumplings. Oh, they were so good. I waited like 45 minutes to get them, but it was worth it. And yeah, then I walked around and read all the signs that were just like, oh, it made me feel so good to just be around like-minded people. Veganism is not a sacrifice, it's a joy. It really is. In terms that mean nothing to animals. Oh, I loved this. This just was like, yes. 
Like animals don't care if they're antibiotic free, organic, oh, pasteurized. You know, it's like in the end their, their throats are still slit. They don't give a shit. It's like, just let me live. And yeah, veganism for everybody. And they had a bunch of different vendors there. Amazing food, like cheese and Champ, Di Champ Steiner was there. And the Impossible Burger was there for impossibly $20 a burger, <laughs> which was insane. Um, I had already tried it. I went to New York and I tried it. So I wasn't like super impressed with it. I mean, it did taste like meat, but I was like, whatever. I kind of like the... Uh, the uh, Beyond Meat Burger one. And then at the end, like, they were giving away, uh, while they were closing, they were giving away, like, f leftover food for, like, basically free. So I got a, a curry that looked like baby poop, but it tasted really good. So, yeah, and that was my trip. And this is me trying to be cool on the rooftop. Like, hey, guys, look at me. It's so cool. I got on this rooftop. <laughs> but, yeah, um, I love Toronto, and I love vegan food, so it was quite a fun trip. Oh, shit. <laughs> See you guys later.